that's better. All right, welcome to another article of Mediocre Man Magazine. So last week we started the demolition and layout for the closet. And then after it was done and I wrapped everything up, my wife came home and she looks at it and I start explaining what I'm doing. And she goes, well, if there's two separate sides of the closet and one side for sure had studs and the other side was gonna go into the middle of the wall, why didn't you build the wall out on the side that for sure had the studs? And I was like, I don't know. What I wanted to say was because nobody's ever accused me of being too smart. But what came out was you probably shouldn't point that out so smugly with a smile on because you married me. <laughs> Anyways, time to get back to work and repair the damage I just did. I did a lot more damage than I probably should have, but we're aiming for average here. Today we're gonna start uh, framing the wall. And I gotta put some back framing in the drywall for the screw up that I did. I'm still gonna stand by that it's gonna look better even though I have no proof of that. But here we go, part two of putting in a closet. That's better. Okay, so last week we cut this opening. Now we have to put some two by four or for this instance, two by three backer behind the wall. Why did I pick two by three? Because that's what I have in the garage and we're aiming for average. I'm gonna fit this in by hammering it in and then taking two screws and screwing into the stud behind the wall here and the stud behind the wall here, being careful not to hit the tech cable. How did I come up with the distance for the two by three? I measured from the inside of the stud this way over to this part and I measured from this part on this side over to this part here up against this stud and then I added those two measurements together to give me 14 and a half. I pre-cut three pieces at 14 and a half and then I've spaced them out two feet apart. I'm gonna screw them in and then we'll tie the wall into that. Here we go. Now we need to lay out for the head height. Basically the little wall that goes above the head. The header, if you will. So in total, it said that it wanted the total size of the closet door plus an inch and a half, which gives space for the door to open and close and the hardware that mounts the closet itself. So if I did that, which was this mark right here was the closet door, and then it said between an inch and a half and two inches, so it went halfway between, so that's an inch and three quarters. That there, from this distance, to this distance what the wall needs to be is 16 inches and if you measure across from this way all the way to this way it's 58 and a half so 16 by 58 and a half if it's got a bottom plate and a top plate each of them are uh, an inch and a half each that's three inches total so I need two two by fours at 58 and a half and then several two by fours at 13 inches a lot of numbers but I'm gonna make a mini wall and then we'll mount that to the ceiling, put in the little mini wall here, and we're good to go. Wish me luck. I've made me come to realize that I don't need you around no more. The kind of thing you can't ignore. And you know you need it more. It's the feeling that you get. So, I obviously just slid this up in there, took my battery-powered DeWalt framing nailer, oh yeah, and just hit it into the studs. I'm now just gonna build this mini wall about nine inches out, frame that in, then it's time for drywall. Pretty awesome. Whoo! It's hot up here going up and down those stairs getting the framing pieces up. But here we are. Put the header in up above. I got the wall furred out. Oh man, am I tired though. 
So the rough opening right now is 49 and a quarter. I'll put the drywall in here and then it'll be 48 and three quarters. I'll drywall it all in. Everything will look good. And then the closet doors will fit in and then we'll do a full episode just on trimming and balancing the doors. I don't want to teach too much about drywall, so let's just throw it on. Here we go. So, just some quick tips on how to work with drywall. First of all, I'll do another demo, a little more detailed with drywall in a different video, but this video has so much detail already that I thought I'd just kind of skim past it this time. To be able to cut drywall, you score it from one side, crack it off the back, and then you score the other side. When using drywall, try to minimize the amount of lines as possible. And in this case, I don't have to worry so much because I'm covering most of the cut lines with the trim for the closet door. Here we go. So you bring it apart. Now, just gotta fit it all together like a puzzle. building the bloody closet. It's going pretty smooth. Before I get started into that, this week's uh, beer in the fridge is Sneaky Weasel by Balderdash Brewing Company. It says their head office on the can is in Vancouver, but it's brewed in Hamloops, BC. It's good, another light beer. Why I like it so much is I couldn't believe it. I expected it not to be as good as it was considering I think it's like 18 bucks for a 15 pack. As far as Canadian beers go, that just doesn't really happen. Pretty good, I like it. Part two of the closet. This article, we framed in the header, put in the sidewall. Make sure that you uh, double check your layout on it and uh, you nail into the studs using the stud finder. Going over a lot over a short period of time. So if you have any extra questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Really happy with the progress that's going on. It's starting to come together. I'm sorry, I skimmed over the drywall. It's just not the right article to demonstrate drywall. It's just corners. There's no field work. I can't just go over the basics on this because there's just not enough space up in that hallway. I'll wait for another article to do that when I have another project for drywalling. Might even bring in a buddy of mine to show you all the ropes as I'm definitely aiming for average for that. Might also mean that I'm below average. Always aiming doesn't mean you're above it. This is the next day, so I've already boarded, mudded, about to put some primer paint on. Next episode, we're going to be going over putting in the closet door itself and the trim around it. Pretty happy so far. Wife's pretty happy so far. Far. I just want to get this one wrapped up and get on with it. This is Mediocre Man Magazine, and I'm Mediocre Man. Cheers!